Well howdy folks, today we're going to learn about baking bread. I'll be making a whole wheat bread today. The recipe will be in the pinned comment. And this always reminds me of my mom, because she taught me to make bread when I was like four. So there's this whole feel to making bread that is tough to do over video, but I'll do the best I can. First, the facts on homemade bread. For starters, it is both tastier and healthier than store-bought. I don't mean the fresh made from the bakery stuff, because that's what we're essentially making. Better, in my opinion, since we'll be tailoring it to the occasion, which we'll cover later. On the downside, it will only last a few days, but bread actually freezes really well. So on the healthier side, this whole loaf is only about 120 calories, whereas most bread made in the U.S. has way more sugar than the rest of the world. A typical single piece of processed bread, like everything that you find in the bread aisle in the grocery store, has more calories than this whole loaf of bread. With the preservatives in it, you, you almost can't call that bread. On the tastier side, you can customize. For instance, I'm adding garlic powder because I'm making this to dip in a marinara sauce. You can experiment with different flours and make it more or less rustic, crispier crust, or almost none. You can add herbs, honey, even soda or beer. Second, how to make it. I'll put the recipe up here if you want to pause. Two cups all-purpose flour, half a cup whole wheat flour. Now you could do just two and a half cups of AP flour, which would give you a light, fluffy kind of a cross between an Italian bread and a French baguette. Or go the other way and have a ratio with a little bit more whole wheat, which would give you a little bit denser, more filling bread. Two and a quarter teaspoons instant yeast, or one packet. One and a half teaspoons of sugar. Three quarter teaspoons of salt two tablespoons of olive oil, and three-quarter cup of warm water. Optionally, this is where you would add something like a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder, herbs and spices. Combine all the ingredients in a bowl and mix with a wooden spoon or your hands. The texture here is going to be key. The dough should be just barely not sticking to the bowl, spoon, fingers, Add a little bit of water or flour, depending. Once combined, move the dough to a lightly floured surface and knead it until it feels smooth. You should be able to use the dough ball to pick up other little pieces of dough that have stuck to things. You want to return it to the mixing bowl and cover with just a towel or you could even do saran wrap for one hour. You want to then punch the dough ball down. It will have risen in that hour. And then you're going to let it rise again. Then you want to just move it to the Instant Pot, score it, and bake for 45 minutes on 295 degrees. Then, and this is the hardest part, attempt to let it cool on a rack for 15 minutes. Finally, storage. The best way is actually a bread box, but I'm not sure that most people even know that those exist. I mean, I make bread and I don't even have one. I just keep it at room temperature in a small storage container. You want something with a tight seal, but has a little bit of room in it for air circulation. As I said earlier, real bread doesn't last long. I mean, I, I do tend to eat it too quickly to have to worry about this, but it will go bad in just a few days. So if I make a large loaf, I cut it in half and put half in the freezer. And that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Go ahead and give it a like, share, and subscribe. Thanks, and have a fantastic day.